Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to watch um, the development of this painting. Here I am going to be working on a 36 by 36. It's on a uh, cradled canvas. That means I think it's about an inch and a half wide so that um, it is ready to hang right when I finish it. So this painting, painting sorry, has already been through probably eight to ten layers of different colors, including the black in the background and the white dripping and then other colors. And now I'm doing the final touch. I'm completing this painting today. So the first thing I do is choose some colors and then um, put them on wet. And this is acrylic. So they dry fairly fast, but within three minutes, I usually start my finishing touches. So I'm adding yellow in here now. Um, those white squares in the middle kind of indicate where I want the center, centers of some of my floral um, abstract uh, designs that I want to keep in there. And now uh, I finished with the yellow, obviously, so now I'm adding that aqua blue. I don't have the paints in front of me right now, so I don't know exactly what color that is. Um, but it's obviously like a green, blue, blue, green. Uh, and this, this tape obviously is sped up. In between, I am using paper towels to wipe off my brush. Um, and the paints are just used, I'm not really mixing it with uh, any water. It's just maybe a little bit of water beforehand, but it's on the palette, so I just take it up from the palette. And now this is the darker blue. This will be my final color before I start using the white. And the white is my final, final color that I use on these uh, types of paintings because if the paint is wet a little bit, then it uh, mixes with the a white paint and gives it different colors. So you'll see as we progress, but uh, right here, I'm just adding in the dark blue wherever it needs. Uh, and I try to leave I don't want to coat the whole painting. I want to leave some of the under uh, layers because they're very interesting. There's so much texture in these paintings. It doesn't really show up in, the, um, in this video or on the um, photos, but if you're looking at it live, you can see all the different uh, textures and layers, and it's quite lovely underneath. Uh, so now I'm kind of sitting back a little, checking to see how dry it is, and I'm ready to move on with my white. So here we go with white. So I'm wiping off my brush, stopping the camera. There's the white on there. So that's the beginning. I think I forgot to turn the camera on and started working on it. Um, because I usually don't have a camera going when I'm working on things, so I kind of forgot about it. But anyway, um, so... Here we go. And you can see um, those white squares. Those are just pe pieces of paper. And they mark where I want to have the center. So, um, and you'll see. So I, there's probably eight, eight or ten of those white squares in the painting uh, placed in different areas to set the composition that I want to create. And then after I kind of uh, get those established, then I will also go ahead and go back into the painting and add some more white, uh, just kind of all over the place, but you'll see. And, and you can see as I'm using the white that some of those... Uh, colors that are wet are kind of mixing into the white, so it makes it look uh, multicolored. And there's, I just did a stroke and I can see the yellow in there. And there's the aqua blue that gets into the white a little bit, so it makes it very interesting. You don't want it too wet because you don't want it, um, you know, to mix completely with the white. Uh, but you do want a little bit of a hint of the color to make it interesting. 
And so I can see I still have a few more of those squares around that I would want to, um, you know, set use those to set my composition and then go back in. So I hope this is interesting to you. Um, I'm not so great at creating these videos, but I'm learning along the way. So hopefully I'll get a little better as I go along. But um, if you enjoy watching them, then I'm going to try to be posting quite a few more. So if you want to go into the, my YouTube channel and check it out. Um, there, now see I'm removing those white squares and it reveals the center there of the abstract floral arrangement that I wanna create. I think I forgot one up there at the top left, so I'll be working on that in a second. I realize I forgot that one <clears throat> right now. <laughs> and there I am creating that uh, floral piece, if you will. And now those are pretty much done. So I'm just going to go back in and where there's some big strokes of color, I will go in and put random strokes of the white. And again, the, um, the paint now with the colored paint, yellow and the aqua and the dark blue there, they're becoming drier. So they're not going to mix as much with the white. Um, but that's okay. And so you can see I am just adding some more white in different areas because I don't want, it changes it completely when you um, start adding that white in there. As always, um, you know, the white is as important the blank spaces are always as important as the spaces that are occupied in uh, painting and in composition. So um, I don't like to have those blunt colors in there, although I could leave them, but I just don't like that look. I'd rather have it, um, you know, mixed with the white a little bit and obscured, if you will. And you can see at the top left, that's pretty much getting finished up there. I wouldn't want to work with that too much more. Uh, you can see the, the composition, but yet it's there's nothing bold standing out at you to disturb the flow of your eye. And uh, so it's getting there. The top, you can see, look at the top compared to the bottom, how different it is. And it's just because I'm adding in the white and obscuring some of that um, straight color that's on the canvas. And you can see I, it's just kind of a haphazard approach of putting the um, haphazard with a purpose, I guess. So that top half is getting completed. And I still have the middle and the bottom half to do. So that's where I'm going to be working. I usually stand back more, like I usually go back about six feet. Oh, there I'm going back a little bit, but not very far. But sometimes I move all the way back, like six to eight feet, just to take sure, you know, make, make sure it's happening correct the way I want it to. But I really like the way this is looking. I like the way it's turning out. Colors. And again, it... You know if, you, if you're if you completing artworks that it's just so different live when you're actually looking at the piece. The video and the photos just are not, they just never do the paintings justice. So you can see I just kind of bold, bold strokes, but not a whole lot of paint on there at this point. Just want to kind of rough out those edges basically and cover over some of the brighter colors and you can see it's getting there it's almost done still have some areas that i want to add and then i'll step back and see if i need to add any if one area is more white i might add some clearer white in another area just to make sure uh, my eye doesn't get caught on something 
because I like uh, I like. I like the whole painting to flow. I don't want to, there, that was, that made a huge difference for me. That's that one stroke. And let's see, okay, so not too much more. It's all.